Welcome back to my channel. My name is Okoyemi. For those who are new here, you're welcome to Okoyemi's Corner. Thank you for stopping by. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always. So guys, in today's video, I'm just going to be doing a follow-up to my last video on the channel, which is where I spoke about um, how to relocate to the United Kingdom as a medical doctor. So I'm going to be sharing about like the cost of exams and relocation to the united kingdom in 2024 because the number of things are different from when i started my process in end of 2020 2021 to now so it's a whole lot different and i know that usually most times people don't even finish their process in one year so i know that even this video by next year or in the next coming months may be outdated because the prices of things keep changing but this just gives you an idea of what to expect and bear in mind that because many of these exams are in pounds you know with the rising exchange rate in nigeria it would continue to vary so in the video i'm going to be quoting both pounds and naira and for the ones that are in, in dollars as well i'm going to be quoting in dollars as well using the exchange rate today which is a thousand eight hundred and fifty one i would confirm that if i'm wrong i will correct that below so without further ado, I'm just going to jump right into the video. In my last video, I already spoke about all the things you need to do, the exams, and right now we're just talking cost. And if I make any mistakes, if anyone is more uh, more updated than I am, please you know just leave a comment down below in the comment section, okay? So I've got my book here where I basically just put down everything so I don't forget. So I'm going to be starting off with IELTS. Like I said in the last video, IELTS is the first thing that you need to do to be able to start off the process of now writing the actual, you know, PLAB exam. And at the moment, the cost of IELTS in Nigeria, British Council is currently 256000 for the paper exam and 266000 for computer which is crazy because when I did mine, I think it was 92 or 72. I think it was like 7 or 9. I don't really remember for sure, but this is what it has become. And I did mine in December of 2020. So this is about two years thereabout afterwards. And it's just like tripled in price. But yeah, that's the current price. Then when you've passed your IELTS, congratulations. It's now time to go ahead to do your PLAB exam. And guys, as well, in my last video, I talked about already what you need to get in your IELTS to be able to qualify to book a space for your PLAB. Um, so starting off is the PLAB 1 exam, which is majorly MCQ, which you can write from Nigeria and many other countries around the world. And at the moment, the PLAB 1 exam is £268. And with the current exchange rate for today, that is about 500, wow, 500, <laughs> guys, I can't even read, 501,294 Naira, crazy, I tell you. And besides paying for the exam itself, there are also some hidden costs, such as paying for a probable subscription. I believe probable subscription is about 25 to 30 pounds for four months. I will confirm that I do apologize. I will confirm that and put that on the screen. Now you have passed your PLAB 1. Congratulations. It's time to do your PLAB 2 exam. And we know that the bulk of the, of the money that's going to be spent for this whole process is usually during the PLAB 2. Um, because with PLAB 2, there's the cost for booking the exam. There's the cost for academy. There's the cost for paying for your visa. There's the cost for your flight. There's the cost for accommodation. So it's a whole lot. And PLAB 2 is only done in Manchester, United Kingdom. So everybody has to come over to Manchester to do the exam. And the current cost of PLAB 2 exam is 981 British sterling pounds. Just have to be dramatic for that one, guys. And with the current exchange rate today, that is about 1.8 million three. Ah, guys, math is difficult. 1,834,960 Naira. That's the price as of today. And they're also hitting calls because academy based on what you do. So for myself, I did Samson's Academy. At the time, I think I paid about 350k um, when converted to Naira for the academy. And I know that Samson's usually does this thing as well. If, if you're five, then each person gets a discount. 
I don't know if he still does that, but as of then and as of recently as well, I know he still does. Um, but at the moment, the cost for the academy is 600, 600 pounds for online and 649.99. Let's just say 650, literally 650 for the physical class. Personally, I always advise people to go for physical class because being online, being in physical class alone, it's difficult to concentrate, talk less of being online. So I typically will just advise you going for physical class if you can. But then if you can't, by all means, please do the online class. There are also other academies. I'm not sure of their prices. I actually did not research them. Um, but I know there's key points in Nigeria. Um, there's also like Aurora. There's also, um, yeah, that's, those are the ones I can remember for now, which are relatively cheaper than Samson's. I believe Samson is the mo most expensive. But it's a very good academy. It's very high yield. You get taught a number of stuff and the way the mock system works. I advise Samson. Also, so if you're doing a physical class, um, which usually in Nigeria is in Lagos, and you don't live in Lagos, or even if you live in Lagos and you live like far away from where the academy is, which is on the mainland in Ikeja, then you might have to pay for accommodation. So you need to bear that in mind as well. So I stayed in an accommodation really close to the academy, about five to 10 minutes walk. And it's within a church. I can't remember the name of the church now. And I did have a roommate as well. So I met somebody online and we partnered up. I had never met her in person, but thankfully somehow we worked. And I believe it cost about 60,000 Naira for two weeks. Um, but if you're going to stay alone, then bear in mind that that price is going to be doubled. And it depends on also what you say. If you stay where I stayed, then you pay this price. If you're staying somewhere else, then you pay something else. So just bear that in mind for the cost of accommodation for the academy as well. Another thing to bear in mind is that if you're doing the exam, because you need to come to the United Kingdom, you really need to pay for your flight um, and for your visa. And so for the visa cost, from what I've seen, it's about £115 at the moment for a six-month visitor's visa. And in Naira, that's about 215,107 Naira. When I did my exam, I didn't apply for my visa for the exam. Like I applied for my visa even before the exam for visitation. And so, you know, I can't give much tips and tricks for when you're applying for the exam. But I've heard people say things like make sure you have you know, a lot of money in your account and make sure there's a steady flow. Don't just put like a lump sum into your account because they're gonna, they're gonna raise flags and say, you know, how come it's a lump sum entry just when you're about to apply for your visa. So you need to be really careful and please make sure you ask people who have done their own applications before you so they can guide you and make sure you get your visa at once because one thing you don't want to do on this process is to lose money. And if your application is not accepted, chances are you're going to have to reapply and you're going to have to pay again, right? And so for flights, it varies. It could be as much as a million or more, depending on when you book your flight, what airline you book with. So I'm not going to quote figures. And as we know now, F is also flying Nigeria to London. So that might be a good, you know, one to look out for as well. Um, another thing for PLAB2 to bear in mind is accommodation when you come to write your exam, depending on how long you're going to be here for, will determine how much you would spend. Um, and if you've got family, friends in Manchester or around Manchester, or even in the UK, who you can stay with for some time before then going over to Manchester, that's really good because it saves a whole lot of money. Um, but if you don't, then bear in mind that you're going to have to rent an accommodation. And I think it could range from anywhere between 15 to 30 pounds per night, depending on the kind of accommodation that you get. Um, one place to check out is Balotega. This video is not sponsored by them, but I know they're quite popular for providing accommodation for pubs. So, you know, they might be worth checking out. Um, so congratulations, you've passed your club too. And now it's time to move on to other things to secure your GMT license and to start the whole job hunting process. The next thing is something called Epic Verification, which basically verifies that your certificate is real and true and from your um, medical school that you claim that you finished from. And for Epic, usually um, there are two fees. One, you pay a fee to open an Epic account, and then you pay a fee for your certificate. So the fee for opening the account is about $130. And using about 1,400 Naira as the exchange rate, that comes to about 182,000 Naira. 
to open the account and then to verify your certificates that comes to about 140 thousand naira because that's a hundred dollars and also bear in mind that depending on the university you go to some schools might require you to pay you know money to them to get that process going or that process done um, and some schools is about five thousand and it could be more depending on your university so that's that for epic and now once you have your epic and you have your plan results you also need to do something called certificate of good standing from your country for Nigeria, I believe currently that costs about 75,000 Naira and usually it will be sent by MBCN. So you just need to apply on the MBCN website and then it could vary based on, you know, really there's no guaranteed timeline for when it could be ready. It could take as long as two weeks and it could be shorter if you call someone to help, you know, fast track your process and all that stuff. So that costs 75,000 Naira. And so now you have your EPIC, you've got your certificate of good standing, you have your IELTS, you have your PLAB, you have every document that they are requesting for, then you can go ahead to apply for your GNC license. And in my last video, I've mentioned the other documents that are needed for GMC license. And once you apply for a GMC license, you need to pay a fee, um, which is basically like your annual retention fee. And this also varies based on your number of years of experience as a doctor. So if you're less than five years in practice, you would pay um 174 pounds and that comes to about 325,000 naira 467 467 naira basically so 325k 467 naira and if you're more than five years then you pay 455 pounds which comes to 855,077 naira and usually if you're from you know countries like nigeria you can actually apply for a discount where you get 50 percent off you know that amount and they do a 50 percent refund to you if you're more than five years if you've been a doctor for more than five years they're less than five years they don't do refunds right um and so those are the costs basically all the way down from ielts to the gmc license um there are also some hidden costs now before the actual relocation happens Things like um, if you want to do courses for your CV, like the life-saving courses or any course at all. Those are some of the hidden costs as well that you might have to pay for. And then for the actual relocation itself, bear in mind that you're going to have to pay for visa, um, flight, and you're going to have to search your accommodation for when you just enter into the country, depending on the type of trust you're in. Some trusts are so good. <laughs> Some trusts are so kind that they pay for like your first few months, but even the trusts that don't, some many of them still do something called a relocation allowance, which you can claim when you're in the country. So another thing to bear in mind when you're applying for your visa is if your certificate of sponsorship from your employer has maintenance ticked or not. If it does have maintenance ticked, you don't have to bother about submitting um, any form of bank statement when you're doing your application. But if it doesn't have maintenance sticks, then you have to have up to £1,270 in your account um, when you're doing your visa application. And I just thought to also mention some of the documents you need for a visa application. Very few, just like your GMC license, your TB test, um, your police certificate, your certificate of sponsorship from your employer. And sometimes you can add your IELTS as well. That's all you need. You don't need a bank statement if your employer has ticked maintenance. So those are some of, these are all the costs that are needed. So this is just like a rough estimate to help you know, like I said, there might still be some hidden charges and these things might vary based on like what academy you go to, but we know that some of them are fixed, like IELTS, PLAB 1, PLAB 2, GMC, License, EPIC, COGS, you really can't do much about them. And I hope that this gives you some insight about how much it costs to relocate now in 2024. And I'll just encourage anyone who is on this process to see this process as an investment. It does sound like a lot. At the end of the day, you're looking at almost 10 million Naira and that's not small money. And if you do practice medicine in Nigeria, you know that with how much we earn, it's very difficult to be able to save up that much. It's, it's almost impossible if you don't have some form of savings from maybe years of working or if you don't have like help from family, um, but it's doable. Um, and best belief that when you start to work, you would, you know, that investment will pay.
so thank you guys so much for watching and if you've got any more questions please put them down below and i will try my possible best to answer them or do a video about them if i need to thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye